my name is Rita Slanina from ritaslanina.com. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a Facebook gray account. The gray account, not to be confused with the gray or blue badge check marks of authenticity that Facebook awards brands and businesses. This is about the gray account status, which prohibits you from doing day-to-day -day functions for your business and or brand. A gray account is essentially a shared login account. Now, what does a shared login mean? A shared login means you have one email for both your personal account and your business account, hence why there's a problem. Facebook is always continually changing and updating their platform, as with most platforms do, right? But sometimes these updates and changes can sort of put your account in a pickle. My personal profile was moved to a branding page, then had to migrate to a Facebook business account managing page, which required me to create a new login to access. So I couldn't keep track of all this. All I know is I still, for some reason, could not do advertisements, personal messages, access messenger, do any groups, etc. for my business, my branding page. There was no solution. How the hell do you get out of this? The solution? So I did find a solution, indirectly a solution. Here we go. I'm going to show you how to get rid of this gray account nonsense. Once and for all. Well, until they update a new update until they do new updates, change the platform again. <laughs> what, what you thought. So hey guys, what you're going to want to do in your old personal profile, I'm using my new one here um, just to give you an example. Go to the drop down menu, go to settings. It's going to bring up the general account settings then you're going to want to find manage account tab once you get the manage account tab click it scroll down to the deactivate your account section and deactivate account or delete account click that you'll receive an email the email will say account scheduled for deletion will be in your inbox. It also states that you will have 14 days if you change your mind to reactivate the account, but we don't want to do that. Um, this is the old account, again, that is sharing the same email with your business profile page and you want to get rid of that. So what, 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 what you thought, you thought. This girl is I needed to use the Facebook app on the phone because when I was using the computer, I could not do these steps. Um, that was an issue that the gray account somehow created for me. I couldn't even get out of this if I wanted to or remedy it. So if you have that same issue, use the Facebook app on your phone. Now we're back to the new page, personal page that I've created. And as you can see, everything is, is working. So on the newly created personal profile page, which has been made an admin to the business branding page, this is now what I am able to see. I can boost posts. I can manage the page. I can send invites, create groups, and I can also do ads, as you can see here. And here is the create campaign ad manager section. As you can see at the top, my personal profile is managing this. This is inside business manager for Facebook. This is a separate login that you need to log into for your business and branding page, which then you will see the newly created personal profile is managing now because I've set the admin role. I am not super techie. So I Googled a bunch of stuff, nothing came up. It was pretty much a dead topic, yet people from even two and three weeks ago were still having issues with this. It was helpful. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments below. I'll answer it. 
and I wanted to make sure that there were other people that knew there is a solution. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Thank you.